Marco Polo is an industry-led uh, consortium of uh, banks, corporates, and third-party data providers using uh, Corda technology to better global trade. Uh, Marco Polo is not mimicking what is uh, being done in the trade today. It's uh, actually a whole new approach. And Marco Polo gives us one of the foundation elements to become a platform. At least I think we had some great months developing uh, Marco Polo together with uh, a lot of uh, banks around the world. So I think it's a truly or one of the few truly global initiatives uh, in trade finance. Distributed ledger technology underpinning the Marco Polo platform will remove a number of existing pain points, enabling a new client experience for open account solutions. And we see Marco Polo as a, as a very attractive way of, of, of moving to an infrastructure uh, that is a much lower cost to serve. Corda and Corda Enterprise is the, is the platform of choice for us. It allows us to provide uh, trade services to our customers, i.e. without funding, for example, offering them payment commitments, and also allows them to pretty much start trading on open account basis with counterparties they didn't have any trust with before. Some, one of my corporates says, oh my god, they're giving me Nirvana from day one. Um, let's uh, imagine a network where everyone is connected and everyone speaks the same language. Uh, you plug your legacy system to this network and you are connected to all companies. Initially, we contemplated large financial institutions as we designed Corda and Marco Polo is forcing us to think about the long tail and how do you accommodate having potentially millions of corporates on Ledger. I think we will be able <coughs> to offer solutions for SMEs, large corporates, multinationals. We need to be able to kind of interact uh, with other um, platforms or solutions. Marco Polo adapts to the ecosystem and I think we will have a lot of new business proposals that we are not imagining today. Right now we're talking about the buyer, supplier, and, and the banks, yeah? But if they're the ERP providers, right? And the logistics companies, how cool is that? Sure that we're gonna make this, this one happen. Particularly when you're targeting trade finance, uh, which is a global thing, and it's not a domestic thing, you need the power of a consortium. But you expect generally banks to be, uh, to be a bit uh, closed in terms of because they're also competing, but it, it's a very open forum, people are sharing ideas, they, they, they're saying what we could do, so it's a very exciting opportunity for, for all of us. I think we are not only following uh, the path of um, evolution, but uh, I hope that we will be able to lead the path as well. The open architecture, uh, I think this is a winner. We believe in this open platform ecosystem approach. We see that this is the way market works. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a believer. This is a, we have a good thing going on and want to see it go live. You know, when we use, when we use laptops or computers, and there is this powerful sticker saying Intel powered. I think that's what I'd like to see from Marco Polo. That whenever anyone thinks about trade, it just comes naturally. It's Marco Polo powered.